Hey guys, Tux here, and for this particular video we have the Shovel Knight Anemo, and this is of course kind of a hard one to get hold of. If you watched my last toy haul, back about a week and change ago, I went to Toys R Us in Miami, drove like three hours trying to find this very Anemo, and the first store I went to, unfortunately they were sold out, and I pretty much had lost hope that maybe I would not be able to find another one, but you know what, Toys R Us in Miami came through for me, and they had three of them, I purchased three, and so we are golden now. Now what one thing that makes this Anibo different than all the other ones is that every Anibo out there has a protective layer of like metal at the bottom here that prevents you from linking this Anibo to a console in the store. Now what everyone is telling me is that basically this one does not have that metal and you know what I don't see it so I believe that you may just be able to link this without actually taking it out of the package which is pretty amazing. It'd be nice if they did that with all of them but then I guess they'd be worried that people in Toys R Us would go through and link, link up the Anibos to the things and get the benefits without actually having that Nebo presence somehow, okay? And there are some hacking tools, which actually I've purchased one thing, which allows you to store a whole bunch of Nebos on one little disc button. I may review that in a future video, but for right now, we'll hold off on talking about that one. Um, but... So for this one here, I want to try and put this to the test and see if we can actually link this Anibo to my 3DS here. And I haven't actually linked a lot of Anibos to 3DSs, actually. I usually link them to my Wii U, and so it doesn't really apply to this. So hopefully this works okay. This is my Zelda one. And by the way, guys, if you're into 3DSs, I have a couple of them. I have two of my main friend codes on the About Me page. And if you want to add me as a friend, by all means, go ahead. You can um, see what I'm playing. You can check out some of my little sketches or whatever whatever's going on in my system and um, I do add people back for real so um, let me know you added me and then your number and I'll add you back okay all right sweet all right so we're gonna open this up here and I have got this here to the page where you actually can do the registering in Ebos and we'll see actually if this um, without opening it here we'll just just activate here we'll go ahead and um, register owner and this is the part here where you stick the Nebo on the little thing and we're just gonna take this here in package and put it on here and I guess it's right here, maybe? Is it the screen? Yeah, check it out. Successfully read the Anibo, that is awesome. So actually, you can actually register this particular Anibo without actually taking out of the package, which is pretty amazing. You've seen it done here, for real, and so it works. So that is really, really awesome. Um, I'm not gonna set anything to it, so I guess I'll just save it, and we will complete this registration, so. Very good. Um, oh, it wants me to... Hold on, maybe I did something wrong here. We'll try it one more time here. There we go. Oh, see, it's already registered. Yeah, so we're good, guys. Um, it's that simple. You can easily, without taking this out of the package, this particular one, register it. So with that being said, I'm going to open it anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at this. Now, I have a few of these, and again, in my video, I picked up three of them. Or I, the, let's see, I think actually I bought two of them and one of them went to Invisigoth. And so I have a couple of these, so I don't really mind taking one out of the package. It is fine with me. And let's see what happens here when we get this out of the package. Okay, so yes, you can see there is no protective metal. There's actually a spot here where they could put the thing. I don't know why they didn't have the metal in there. Maybe that's a thing they're testing with this one particular one to see if they lose money by not doing that, or maybe it was like it's an error in manufacturing. It's really hard to say, but um, it's pretty cool that they didn't actually have that in there. So taking a look here at him, he's very cool looking. Now there's some people are like, oh, I'm not gonna describe the paint. Um, I collect this stuff, so actually I really care about the little details, so I do like to talk, take talk and actually look at what is actually involved in these. And I have to say some are better than others, you know, and this one is pretty cool. Um, from the paint color, it looks like there's like just a few different shades of blue in it, which is pretty cool. I love the detailing of the shovel. The actual little shovel arm here is good. The little marks in the electric grip here is nice. Um, the actual bottom part here has like the little shovel knight. It's like purple, has an emblem to it. And this is really cool. And I've seen some guys actually customize these, you know, paint them different colors and stuff like that, which is really cool. And I may actually do that with one of my extras. So very, very cool Anibo. I'm liking it. It's um, very awesome. And I don't have this game yet. So if you guys play this game, if you're into it, it's been out for a while, I know. It's just one that it kind of has kind of went under my radar and I haven't picked up because there's so many games I'm trying to finish and play. So if you're into this game, let me know if this is totally worth it and I will pick it up based on your reviews, okay? 
All right, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you like this little mini review unboxing. I would say looking at this, this is a very unique and cool looking one. It does not look like the other one. So I would say go ahead and pick this up if you can find it because right now it is very hard to find. So definitely if you find them, buy a couple of them. I'd recommend buy three. Buy one to save, one to open, and one to trade. That is what I would do. Okay. Well, with that being said, if you do have some special Nebos, there is some Nebos I'm looking for. Rosalita is one of them, which uh, Nice Time is going to try and get for me. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she can get one for me. And then I'm going to do a trade. So if you have Nebos, which are kind of rare in your area that are, you know, legit Nebos, and um, talk to me. Maybe we can work out some kind of trade for a Nebo that you can't find in your country or area. Okay? All right. Just a thought. Okay, guys. Thank you again very much for watching this. Don't forget, we have the 2200 subscriber giveaway going on right now so be sure and check out that video and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and you can win a brand new anebo this month i'm giving away which one is it it is mewtwo i believe <laughs> be honest with you, yeah i think it's mewtwo uh, check out the video the 2200 subscriber video for all the details and there's some other really cool prizes to be given away too so be sure and check that out and also guys i want to say thank you very much we're just approaching 2500 subscribers so huge thank you to all you guys i really appreciate it i love reading your comments and everything and be sure and subscribe to tux toys on instagram if you haven't for previews of upcoming videos sometimes i'll have some behind the scene photos and stuff for my toy hauls on there too um also there is tux toys on twitter and of course there is tux reviews my review channel of um things that don't fit the toy genre it could be like uh mouses and keyboards for like pc gaming it could be home stuff it could be anything under the sun could fall under tux reviews and then also i do have gamer tux my gaming channel which will be upcoming for pokemon go and of course ingram and other less plays and things along those lines. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching this. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Stay cool. Bye-bye.